Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get into your reading, Pisces. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of July 2020. Let's see what Spirit has in regards to your love and romance. Now your first card here is the Strength card. Okay. Your second card... We have the Six of Swords and the Seven of Cups. Okay. All right, Pisces. All right. Um, with the Strength card, I feel that Spirit is uh, trying to communicate, believing in yourself, Pisces, knowing that you are stronger than you think you are. Um it's about believing and trusting in yourself. You've, you know, there's a lot of courage. There's a lot of confidence in you. And if you haven't been experiencing that for the past couple of weeks, uh, or if you've been having almost like this um, insecurity crisis about doubting yourself or how beautiful or how amazing you are, what Spirit is telling you is that you will start to experience almost like a burst of new energy coming through um having more you know more goals or aspir i see you guys very inspired i i want to say for those of you guys that are single or have been single for quite a while you may be dealing with a leo energy or a leo energy may be coming towards you and i feel that this has been something in like it's been in the making it's been behind the scenes um so if you're currently like focused in goals and aspirations or doing what you got to do and you kind of forgotten about love with the strength card what spirit is saying is that you are radiating or you're going to be radiating a lot of like really a lot of confidence a lot of trust in yourself and everything's going to start to fall into place and that even indicates bringing to you a specific person that is more ideal for you perhaps even feeling like they came out of nowhere because you weren't really expecting it. Now with the Six of Swords is walking towards calmer waters, going towards something that is stable. With the Seven of Cups, um, seven is a very powerful number. It is a spiritual number. So I feel that for some of you Pisces that have been on this either spiritual journey or on this spiritual journey of connecting with yourself and finding yourself again, I feel that with the Seven of Cups, sorry, Seven of Cups, I said Pentacles, I believe with the seven of cups there's been almost like you've been very distracted you haven't really been focusing on love but whether you're ready or not pisces what they're saying is that uh love is coming your way now for those of you guys that are in a long-term or committed relationship the strength card does symbolize having the strength to go towards um more stable grounds it also could represent for some of you guys um getting to a point of feeling like you've been either putting a lot of effort into this relationship or you've been self-sacrificing perhaps you know letting certain things fly uh that perhaps you shouldn't have or it, it's about believing and trusting yourself if you can see in this card the woman is by the lion and the lion if you look at if you look at their their you know their what is the word i'm looking for their uh what is it their um expression in their face it's like they're upset so what what i feel is that you've been dealing with a lot of things that perhaps you haven't been okay with in this relationship but you've still you know have kept your shit together and have continuously keep progressing in this relationship with the three of uh, sorry with the six of swords there is a need to there is a need for you to realize in this situation or in this partnership that it takes two people to make it work you cannot be the one that continuously keeps putting work or effort in a relationship it takes two people to be able to stabilize a relationship and with the seven of cups there's a lot of confusion so it's either you or your partner, the one that is indecisive about this relationship. And if you're full on and they're not, this is not going to stabilize. So what they're telling you is 
what you need to do here in this situation, uh, Pisces, there is a need for you to step back from your emotions to be able to see it from a different perspective. Start doing what your what your partner is doing. You know, if they have an issue with that, then obviously they know that the things you've been letting slide is something that they wouldn't allow. You know, it, it, there has to be some type of equality in this connection. Now, like I said, for those of you guys that are single, I do see love coming your way. And I feel that with the Seven of Cups, there's going to be more than one person approaching you. So what they're speaking about is options. But stop relying or living on the past and it's time to move on. It's time to progress towards the future. Only if you stop looking towards the past and you focus on where you're going, meaning the, the present and the future start living in the now, will you be able to see those opportunities arise okay all right my lovelies i'm going to be pulling out one um one card from the return of spirit let's see what spirit's final message is for you pisces sun moon rising venus in regards to the situation love and romance what is the direct message you want to communicate spirit what is the direct message you want to communicate for pisces all right, and your card is mediumship. Mediumship is about connecting with higher spirit. It is about listening to your intuition. It is about not denying your truth, but accepting it. Not judging it, but embracing it. This can also represent being very intuitive. Perhaps you, you've been experiencing this you know, major energy when it comes to intuition. Feeling like there are certain things that, that you're feeling or that you're doubting and then all of a sudden they come out in the open and you're like, oh, no wonder. You know, I was feeling this type of way and then this happened. It's about listening to your power, Pisces. Listening to your intuition. Stop ignoring it and stop making excuses for your partner. All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I hope it gives you some type of clarity or insight, and we will be seeing each other. Till next time, I'll see you guys. You guys stay safe. Bye.